All right, the snow may be on the ground. The temperature might be far below what you'd like, but don't worry. Colin and Justin are about to warm us up with cool ideas to cozy up against the chill. Right, guys? Absolutely. It's all about cozy cool. And uh, this ain't no mural. This ain't no backdrop. We're outside <laughs> in Halliburton to bring you this look, OK? Like any other look, you want a hero piece, OK? And if you're going to snuggle up, you need a great sofa. Luckily, we went to our local thrift store in Halliburton. We picked up that long Regency style sofa for $85. <gasps> Can you believe it? And it's perfect, you know, it's really kind of Bridgerton chic. So if you're into bodice ripping and a little bit of the Regency loveliness, then this is the look for you. We got really lucky because apparently somebody bought that sofa from another source, had it reupholstered in this gorgeous cream linen, then tried to get it into their living room and realized it didn't fit. So their fault was our advantage. <laughs> it's just such a great piece. And you'll see that further into the year as we style that into our next project. It is the perfect Regency era fainting couch. It is gorgeous and fashionable as well. And I must say, I see some very fashionable elements uh, in your space as well. Do tell. Yeah, do you know what, Tracy? You're absolutely right. There's long since been a real link between fashion and the home, but I think that link now is ever more prevalent because we're really thinking more about the spaces that we're living in and we're trying to dress ourselves to keep cosy indoors. So we've really played with that. So if you look at this corner of the sofa, we've got an almost like a shearling cushion. We've played around with lots of textures and different throws there. Virtually everything that you're seeing here today has come from H&M Home. All of those cosy layers are really lovely now the greys work really well with the naturals as well so a natural rug down there we've got a glass based lamp with a lovely lattice of string around it a great hessian shade and then lots of elements of wood so play those teams together and it's sportsmanship in decor terms that will really work absolutely and if you slide along the sofa you see we've got some timber in there we've got some leather in there as well and you know natural elements are great for this look and there is a new luxury for 2021 that is about natural it's about simplicity and about actual thoughtfulness and it's about enjoying the beauty of individual objects so give yourself some space so you can appreciate the true beauty of everything you bring into your home oh i love when i see the zeitgeist sort of reflected in what's happening in decor and that's beautiful you know the sumptuousness and the thoughtfulness of it all very inspiring so i know you love to use color and pattern all year long, but especially in the winter, right? And if there are grey days ahead and you are lacking some sunshine, then don't wait for the weather to change. Bring in bursts of beautiful yellow, sumptuous colours. You know, and the yellows that you use in the winter aren't as brash and as lemony as the ones that you might use in the summer. You know, so head towards mustard, slightly richer shades. And if you're starved for nature, you know, the trees are bare around. There's some leaf prints, little bird motifs as well. Anything that brings in that summery feel gives you a warm glow is going to be the way to get you through this winter. And still keeping it in terms of clothing. Everywhere I look at the moment, every woman seems to be attired in a little house on the prairie dress. <laughs> so we've taken that whole logic, played around with the rattans and again the wickers and the things that were perhaps redolent of those country days and based this next little vignette around this, again a thrift store chair, $85 for that chair and the little ottoman. Played with that gorgeous rich red shaded check pattern cushion, that gorgeous woolen throw with the textural ta tassels hanging <laughs> off the end there, and then just a little touch of grapevine down there. That's not driftwood, that's grapevine. That is the stuff that enables the wine to be made, which enables Colin and Justin to get <laughs> guzzling at the end of every day locked at the cottage. Okay, that's very Cozy. important, very important. You are scoring some really good deals there in terms of vintage. We got to talk about lighting though, because especially in the winter months, it is so key. What have you got for us lighting wise? <laughs> Okay, the most important thing about lighting, okay, I want you to remember this sentence, second date lighting. Okay. Imagine you met someone for the first time and there was a bulb over your head brashly shining into your face. Would that person necessarily want to see you again and would you want to see them again? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> no. So actually, make sure everything is diffused. Shades are your friend. Dimmers are your friend. You know, take the light levels down to cozy up. When you use table lamps, you know, not only do you soften the look, but you create warm pools of light in a room as well which creates focus and warmth and really draws people in essential for winter and of course 
get the candles out there. You know, if you've got an open fire, go for that. But if you don't, you're in a condominium, just get some flickering candles. Great scents as well. There's one there, cedar candle. This actually smells exactly like you're in a cabin somewhere. It's by Whitewater. Great Canadian company, great Canadian candles.